So let's look at a case, um, an osteogen plug. We have a, a tooth that's deemed non-restorable, a molar tooth that we're going to take out. So I take my uh, periotome from Golden Dent and I'm simply um, going around the, the tooth structure, facial and palatal, and I'm gonna take my physics forcep and see how I, I engaged it. The, the beak is placed on the palatal surface, one to three millimeters subgingival. The bumper is high up the vestibule. You can see I am not sectioning this tooth whatsoever. I'm simply rotating my wrist towards the corner of the eye. I am not squeezing. I'm actually putting a, um, a little tension with my uh, forefinger um, and elevating up. And that tooth is going to, in about a minute, is going to luxate up and out of the socket. You can see how it's lifting up and out. The instrument is not intended to remove the tooth in total. Rather, it's intended to luxate the tooth. I will then take my tooth delivery instrument. And you can see we took a very difficult tooth um, out in a very, very short amount of time, very atraumatically to the hard tissue, very atraumatically to the doctor, and very atraumatically to the patient. The patients are amazed um, on how simple these procedures are. You can see the divergence of the roots, the infection that was created. And we will then use an osteogen plug. Um, the osteogen plug is a remarkable material that's been used in Europe for a long time. And I've been um, using it for many years now, very, very uh, effectively. I lecture for them, and I also do a lot of histology. It's a bioactive resorbable calcium appetite. Uh, it's not a beta tricalcium phosphate, and it's not a dense ceramic hydroxyapatite. It's bioactive and controls soft tissue invagination and forms a strong bond when bone as it resorbs. Um, the clusters of the material are packed and intertwined and form a hydrophilic matrix that actually absorbs bone, blood. It's radiolucent on the day of placement, but over time you can objectively take a radiograph and see how the bone turns over over a period of time. Um, we don't need a membrane with this product. Um, the the, the um, collagen um, um, filler, so to speak, uh, contains the graft material and it's bound so tight that it restricts migration of connective tissue through both physical and, and a chemical barrier. Uh, epithelium is going to follow the path of re least resistance and it will not penetrate into this material. Um, and the osteogen is actually, it's calcium, it's a calcium uh, deficient appetite similar to the mineral in human bone. So it's a very simple, simple procedure, very, very cost effective, and, and uh, Kurt can uh, explain it to you in, in a few moments. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a collagen plug, but it is not a collagen plug. Um, and, and just remember that um, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of confusion out there on different, different products. And collagen plugs are not socket preservation or grafting materials. They're normally derived from bovine dermis, but they resorb so quickly. Many of them turn to, to snot, literally, in, in, in a few days. So it's not really going to protect the graft material from invagination of epithelium. But this material is very special. Um, and you can see I actually cut it um, to make it look like the root of a tooth. We cut it so we have room for the palatal, mesial facial, and distal facial. And as I said, it provides a scaffold. Uh, it absorbs blood. Um, we don't have to mix it with anything. And it's very, very cost effective. And within a three to five month period, you will get complete conversion of this material to bone. So it's very, very important though, when we remove the tooth in preparation for socket preservation that we curette, curette, curette. We wanna remove any granulation tissue from the socket. We want to remove any purple blood. We wanna remove the lamina dura from the palatal aspect of that socket. So you're going to want to have sharp curettes and um, be aggressive in, the, in that site. You can see the, the large gran, uh, granulation tissue 
um, cysts that we removed from that site. It was a real mess. Once it's cleaned out, you can see I'm taking my osteogen plug that's been trimmed into three pieces, and you can see I'm slowly just placing it into the socket and it's absorbing the blood. Absorbing the blood. And then I'm gonna pack this material firmly. We're not crushing it, it's not amalgam, but I want to, to pack the material firmly to the crest of the ridge. Now there's no membrane involved here, so I'll just put a couple of simple interrupted sutures. And very, very quickly, I want you to see how I'm doing the suture. I'm, I'm taking my needle, which is a reverse cutting needle, from the crest, and I'm actually penetrating through the facial tissue. Thus, I am eliminating grabbing onto the graft material. I'm gonna do turn the needle around and do the same thing, go from the crest of the socket to the palatal in this situation, and simply do some cross sutures to uh, maintain that, that graft material into the site. You can see it's radiolucent immediately after, after extraction.